Cool. Thank you, you too. Bye bye. Dude, you've oh, I've been doing interviews like crazy. You've always got to hire good people. Whether you're a call center, whether you're a an agent, whether you're trying to build a team, whether you're trying to recruit all across the nation, you need good people. Good people make my job easy. People like Matt, DJ, Dylan, Lindy, they make my job so much easier. When you surround yourself with good people, they actually end up making you look better than you really are. You want to scale up, you want to grow your business, you want to get bigger, you want to get to where you've got a thousand agents selling for you across the nation and you have your own agency, you're going to have to find good people. Maybe you've got things that you want to look for. Maybe they've got to be positive. If they're negative, get in an interview, I'll give people a chance to be negative all the time. What did you like? What did you like the least? Or what did you hate about your previous job? You know, that is how you find out. You let them talk, and that's how you find out if they're uh, if they're negative or not. And so here we're a positive only zone, a positive only team. Some questions I like to ask is, uh, what did you like the of, of everything I've told you so far? What do you like the most, and what do you like the least? And so after I tell them all about the position, everything that we are, everything about us, what do you like the most? And what do you like the least? It gives them a, them a chance to say, here, here's what I like the best. But it also gives me a chance to know if there's something that they don't like. Maybe it's the pay. Maybe it's the hours. Maybe it's the culture. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's the team. Maybe it's what we do. Maybe it's you know this or that. If, maybe it's the dress code. Whatever. If there's something that they don't love, I want to know what it is. I also, I always also ask everyone, hey, I always tell them, hey, everyone's great at something. What are you great at? They say, well, I don't know. Well, if you had to choose, what would you say? Everybody's great at something. And if they can't pick something, if they can't say what they're great at, then they probably lack confidence, right? So uh, there's always a few questions that I love, love, love to ask. But things we look for is if they want the world and they're bragging about how amazing they are and how much money they made and they, they're just a killer agent and, you know, and they, they're, they're begging for the world and they want the, the highest commission in the world, they're normally full of it. Like, they're normally a liar. They're normally just messing with us. So we find that our best agents are the ones that say, rather than saying, what can you do for me, are the ones that say, here's what I'm going to do for you, and I'm going to prove that I'm worth hiring. And, and that just put it out there, and then they're honest. You can tell they're ethical. You can tell that they will actually work the leads you give them, that they will actually work hard. You know, ask them, hey, if you had some leads, you know, um, and you got them on Friday night, when would you call them? That'll tell you a lot about a person. They say, well, you know, I'm jumping on them first thing Monday morning. That's too late. That's too long. That's, that's you know, the leads are dead. Are they calling them Friday night? Are they calling them Saturday morning? When you're building a team and an agency, once you get attention, man, you got to find the right people. You don't want, we get free leads out. If I get free leads, it leads out to the wrong people. I'd waste a lot of money. And I've wasted a lot of money over the years. That's why we hire a lot of people and learn who to hire and who not to hire. I say... You know, hey, what, what, what got you thinking about this? You know, you know, why are you here? Uh, and sometimes they'll be like, well, because I'm looking for a job. You know, well, I wanted, I want to hear more than that. I don't want to hear, hey, I'm looking for a job, or hey, you know, hey, I need money. I'm looking for, hey, I'm looking for a home, I'm looking for a career, I'm looking for somewhere that I'm looking for more than a simple one-word stupid answer is what I'm looking for. Uh, and so I like to ask questions to give them a chance to complain, to give them a chance to, you know, maybe not know what to say. I would say, uh, like, if you're looking for an agent. What's, what's the worst experience you've ever had? And then see how they respond. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, if they had bad experiences, it can be on their previous uplines, previous companies, but a lot of times it's on them. Give them a chance to complain. Give them a chance to, to moan. Give them a chance to, you know, to give them a chance to be negative. Give them a chance to tell them how bad of everybody else is, but how great they are. You know? it, if that's happening, that kind of worries me. It really does.